Writing inequalities to represent real-world situations. A person must be at least 16 years old to drive. In order to write an inequality, we want to look for key words. In this one, the key words are at least. So if a person must be at least 16 years old to drive, how old could they be? Well, they could be 16, 17, 18, 26, or 50, or any of the other ages in between, as long as they are at least 16 years old. So first we want to determine what inequality sign is going to represent at least. Well, if they have to be at least 16, we know they can't be less than 16. So we can get rid of the two inequality signs, less than and less than or equal to. Now we only have two inequality signs left, greater than or greater than or equal to. Well, since it's at least 16 years old, that means the person could be exactly 16 or equal to 16. So the inequality sign we will use is greater than or equal to. And we know that they have to be at least 16 years old, so we can include the 16 on the right side. The last thing we need is a variable. Since we are talking about someone's age, I'm going to use the variable a. This inequality is a is greater than or equal to 16. Or a, or the person's age, needs to be greater than or equal to 16 in order to drive. A person must be more than 48 inches to ride the roller coaster. So once again, we're looking for those key words. And the key words in this situation is more than. So if a person must be more than 48 inches to ride a roller coaster, how tall could they be? They could be 49 inches, 50 inches, 55 inches, 68 inches, or 72 inches. They could be any height as long as it's greater than 48 inches. So we want to determine which inequality symbol are we going to use. Since it's more than 48 inches, I know I can get rid of the less than symbol and the less than or equal to symbol. Now I only have two symbols left, greater than or greater than or equal to. In this situation, it clearly states that it needs to be more than 48 inches. So we know that it cannot be equal. So our final inequality symbol will be the greater than symbol. And we know that the person must be more than 48 inches. So I can add the 48 to the right of the inequality symbol. Last thing we need is a variable. Since we're talking about someone's height, we can use the variable h. And the final inequality will be h is greater than 48. Now I have two more situations that I want you to write the inequalities for. I would recommend you pause the video now, write those inequalities, and resume when you're ready to see if your inequalities are correct. All right, let's take a look. For number one, the inequality would be s is less than 20. I use the variable s to represent the shots. For number two, the inequality would be w is less than or equal to 5. I use the variable w to represent the watermelons. It is perfectly fine if you use different variables, as long as your inequality signs are the same and your numbers are the same as well. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause and try to determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.